So Mahendra, thanks for joining us today at ADAPT's Data Edge here in Sydney. And when you think about the theme of building a data-driven organisation there at the Red Cross, what does that entail? Uh, I think the data is uh, one of the main assets in, for future. A lot of emerging technologies uh, uh, coming like AI, uh, Internet of Things and custom experience need to leverage uh, with the data to better custom experience and driving some of the social justice projects. So because of that Red Cross uh, identified the value of the data, not only the data but also the people, culture and the skills need to uh, leverage that data uh, into more uh, sustainable future. And when you think about social justice and particularly some of the case studies, the use cases you've worked on, developing AI systems that are designed in an ethical and proper way, what are some of the things that have worked? Yeah, so uh, when it comes to uh, AI and data, uh, there are few uh, industry frameworks that we can focus uh, related to social justice. That the, one of the most popular one is uh, United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Uh, in there, there are 17 sustainable development goals that uh, everyone need to address. Uh, and it is the 2030 agenda of the United Nations. Uh, it cover a lot of aspects like uh, plan social, economic, planet, environment uh, to uh, establishing a more sustainable future. Uh, Red Cross also ha uh, addressing certain aspects related to humanitarian uh, engagement, support, and reducing uh, and mitigating risk related to humanity in the, with these emerging uh, technologies, particularly related to uh, bias and uh, and some of the risks like uh, autonomous weapons. So we, Red Cross is the world's largest humanitarian organization and also we are the guardians of the international humanitarian law by Geneva Convention. So Red Cross has a uh, big responsibility when uh, uh, when uh, uh, giving uh, some of the uh, insights to the uh, decision makers, that means how to orchestrate this uh, technology and values. And so when you're thinking about how to orchestrate and deliver on those values, as I understand it when you think about unified governance, you have what I think is described as the KITE model for driving these kinds of changes. Can you tell the ADAPT community a little bit about what's involved in that model? What are the challenges in implementation and how you're driving further progress? Sure. So when uh, Red Cross were looking into the emerging technologies, particularly AI and the data uh, in informed decision making and data related technologies, what we realize is like there are fundamentally three key uh, questions need to ask by every leader. The first is why, what and how, right? So any uh, any uh, organization try to solve this problem need to address those three questions in in their uh, in different layers like for example when it comes to organization governance corporate governance they particularly want to have have interest on why questions uh, so that's uh, re that why question is very important to forming strategy uh, uh, mitigate, like mitigating risks and establishing their risk appetites and all these things are uh, addressing those why questions. Then, uh, the, then the next level is that this is actually part of the golden circle model, the uh, what question. So when it comes to senior leaders, then they are think of, okay, how organization should address uh, this uh, social justice project through the data. And then it come into eventually uh, how question where the engineers and data scientists working together to resolve certain problems. Now, 
in every aspect of these three questions, uh, there is a people, uh, technology, processes, uh, and teams involving, and uh, organization need to orchestrate this uh, to create a better, better solution. Uh, that my kite and uh, wind turbine model, which we presented into United Nations and also some of the conferences, what we try to uh, address was that means how leaders can orchestrate people, culture, and mission in an organization more efficiently uh, to drive these uh, data-driven technologies and, uh, and, and drive them more ethically uh, in a sustainable way. Uh, so in, if we look into the kite abstraction model, it's an abstraction model. Why we call it abstraction? Because we identified AI is actually a complex uh, when it comes to application level, but uh, the complexity can be reduced through an abstraction uh, layer and kite abstraction model look into uh, AI, organization, society, and sustainability, where that uh, governance, lead, leaders who focused on governance can easily understand their vision, mission, and uh, strategies, and then they can adapt uh, the strength of AI and uh, relevant sustainable development goals into their organization. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I guess when we think about connecting the strategic brains with the operational arms in a way, when we're thinking about how we connect AI for good with sustainability, organisation with society as well, we're thinking really about that purpose-driven organisation that does the right things for the right reasons, measuring in the right way and driving practical progress. And as part of driving this progress, what are some of the partnership principles that have helped you to deliver those outcomes? Yeah, so that's a good question because uh, Red Cross in their strategy 2030, they, pro they promote that we need to work as a distributed network. Uh, that's a very important thing. When we're going into United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, the 17th Sustainable Development Goal saying, the last Sustainable Development Goal, saying that the, all the, the 16th, other 16 sustainable development goals should be achieved with the partnership. So because of that partnership, collaboration is very important. Now, if we go deep dive into that perspective like partnerships, uh, you can identify it uh, help to mitigating biases in AI and data through diversity, equity, inclusion. Now partnership collaboration enhance the diversity, equity, inclusion perspective uh, perspectives of these solutions. Uh, because of that, any organization should be uh, self-aware. That means uh, that they should have the uh, emotion, emotional uh, intelligence and be self-aware what are the biases they have and what kind of partnerships, collaborations they should uh, engage with in the people's perspective, cultural, or technology perspective, then that they can decide at that point, like we can't uh, decide that uh, like in advance, mm -hmm. but uh, that is the right, uh, wish, uh, right thought process, mindset that leaders should have. Using that critical process to design out bias and fairness included by design. And really what we're saying there is we're using emotional intelligence as the way that that technical competency hits the road, the rubber hits the road, if you like. And I guess if you were to leave one final thought with the ADAPT community, what would it be? Uh, I think that uh, AI is a very important perspective in any organization. In uh, corporate, corporate perspective, uh, it's a one of the key strategy uh, in uh, customer experience. Uh, and also in Red Cross perspective, we believe that one of the key capability that uh, driving the future humanitarian operations. And we need to focus ethics and right governance practices from the beginning to mitigate the related risks. Uh, that bias is a, one of the key issue that which failed the AI uh, projects. Like it says like 85% of the 
AI projects fail due to biases and we don't want to that to happen uh, and and to and uh, we want to mitigate the AI risks through these uh, great partnerships collaborations and we want to uh, enhance cultural values through the AI uh, and we believe uh, human ethics is the core component which orchestrate the AI capabilities in the future in that way we can build more sustainable future. So.